Hi Sagittarius, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-March general reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Sagittarian, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Sagittarius, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Sagittarius, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Sagittarius, let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-March general reading. We're in Pisces season, and then we're about to be in Aries season, spring, new energy, new beginnings. We've got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, again for mid-March. Don't forget this is general. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, Knight of Wands, okay, this is you. So maybe we can be dealing with another fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Page of Swords, Two of Swords. Yeah, there's gonna be something um, unveiled, something that you couldn't see. Um, it's gonna come in very clearly. Knight of Wands, you're gonna be excited. Something that you maybe thought you weren't gonna get, you're gonna get. Something you thought, Knight of Wands, you're, gonna, you're about to have a lot of confidence here. You're about to move forward really rapidly with something. You're also very busy. I see you here very, very like busy. Um, like I see for a lot of you, you're like, I wish I had more time here, but I'm gonna pop in here. I'm gonna pop in over there. Like this is you, tra like being a true Sagittarius, like popping around, traveling, seeing as many friends. Like this is you as, as much as your social, bio, social butterfly energy as possible. Page of Swords, getting new numbers, talking to people, how you doing. Being your natural, flowy, flirty, sad self. <laughs> yeah. Y'all are like getting people's numbers, even like in a relationship. Like I'm meeting friend after friend. Like y'all are just having the time of your life right now. That's what this is. We're having a lot of fun. A lot of introductions with that energy too. Okay. Past, present, and future during a nine card spread. What's been going on for Sagittarius? Yeah, two of cups. Beautiful soul connection here. So y'all could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Chariot. Something moved moved um, in a good direction for a lot of you in relationships, in your love life, or in a friend situation. Because there's a lot of turtles they're pointing out to me. Like some of you might have taken a really long time to get to know someone. Um, it's like, like a relationship's been kind of taken its sweet time. And I feel like in the past, uh, recent past Sagittarius, something like, oh, okay, we're good now, or that's better now, or we're on better terms now. Um, yeah, you and someone are on, 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 on smoother sailing uh, waters than you were. Friend, romance situation, family member, it's definitely a soulmate. Y'all are on better terms, good. Recent past Sagittarius, what's been going on? Sag, High Priestess, Page of Wands, you're hiding some good news. You know something that the rest of us don't with the Page of Wands. It's like good news, announcement energy. Things could also just be really good between you and someone. And I am picking up a group of you that are like, yeah, I don't post pictures of me and my person or me and my friends and we're having a great time because a lot of you like to keep that for yourself. Like you're very... Um, you're cherishing a connection. You're cherishing the time. They're showing me specifically, say like you're at a show, you're at an event or something. And normally you'd be like, yes, taking photos and getting the video on your phone, you know, whatever. And you're like, no, I'm into the experience. There's something about in Pisces season, y'all being in the experience. Like, no, I'm gonna put my phone in my pocket and just be here. Y'all are really in the present moment. I love this for you. Seven of Cups. Yeah, you've definitely 
because there's a lot of you're exploring a lot of options in a situation uh queen of wands i almost said king of wands queen of wands you and the feminine and or masculine but this is the feminine queen of wands aries leo sag it's like you and someone getting to know each other and you're like mm, i love this it's like quality time together two of cups seven of cups you and a friend like we want to travel we want to start a business we want to do this like this is just spending a lot of like quality time with someone getting to know someone feel it out a connection has definitely improved definitely seeing that what's currently happening with sagittarius please Hierophant, which is the counterpart to the high priest, has popped out. High, high, high level commitment. This is the highest respected counterpart in the tarot. BT doves. Double Bs uh, are calling out, the, like initials B, B. Like, so that could be a significant to someone with the Hierophant here. Card of Taurus, and then the Empress came out. Taurus and Libra, world card. Holy Major Arcana. Um... Currently going on, a lot of y'all are receiving Empress energy and your feminine energy. You are the receiver. You're receiving what? High level commitment. Two of Cups. A lot of you could be getting, taking that next step in your relationship. I know this is not your love reading. That'll be in your love reading, but this is like. What's happening with Sagittarius? Like you and someone are getting like really serious. And again, if it's not in your love life, it feels like, yeah, um, in my career, I, I'm getting a bump up. I'm really love, I love where I work. I'm able to have creative freedom. I'm hearing creative expression. Um, four of pentacles. Yeah, this is like home energy, the four, four corners of a home star card. Some of you are landing your dream home, I'm hearing, or and or a dream experience. Again, there's something about a lot of you with an experience, like, um, like instead of for your instead of for your birthday or instead of for Christmas, or it's not even, it's my birthday, not y'all's birthday. <laughs> Just kidding. It, it is though. But it's like for your birthday, you're like, hey, instead of, you know, a new pair of shoes or like whatever, you're like, I'd rather go to a show or I'd rather go... I don't know, you'd rather go do something. You know what I mean? There's something about the experience is gonna be more worth it than, I don't know, like that's what's coming in for me, for you. Like I do see a lot of you like, hey, let's move in together. Hey, let's start a business together. Let's start a band together. Like you and a friend, you and someone wanna, you're brainstorming and you want to put something together. Future energy. What's coming in for Sagittarius, please? What's coming in? Eight of Swords. Three of Swords. Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. Okay. 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 Ace of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Wands, very good. For a second, there's a good group of you because things are getting real smooth, real solid, real mushy, real good for you. Then as things, Four Pentacles get real good and solid, Empress, you're feeling good, high level commitment with someone, feeling good at the career, boom, it feels too good to be true. You're gonna catch yourself in an Eight of Swords overthinking the crap out of your situation overthinking about a person whatever it is then we have the ace of cups and the six of pentacles then you go oh yeah i am okay this is finally this group having a breakthrough of not backsliding digressing back into an old fear thought an old program an old way of being an old way of thinking you are overcoming your own fears that you have placed upon yourself very, very, very good. I am so proud of y'all. Ace of Wands, yes, Nine of Cups, Chariot, Queen of Pentacles. A lot of things also Sagittarius are really improving um, in the near future after this uh, are gonna be improving in career work. Um, I'm hearing contracts, um, that kind of thing coming in for you, very good. 
business, business ideas. But for a lot of you right now, it feels like a person's really important to you. Um, leveling up with somebody, feeling it out. Um, and some of you even here, like say like you and someone are like, I feel an engagement for some of you, or we want to move in or take things next level. It's like eight of swords, cold feet central. Like, oh my God, oh my God, are we really doing this? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And then eight, ace of cups, six of pentacles, when you, um, when you, sorry, I just saw something I didn't want to see. Um, no, uh, mm. When you literally Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles, breathe, take a moment. And like Ace of Cups is like, why am I doing this? Why am I in this connection? Why am I in this job? Why am I, why am I signed up to whatever I'm signed up for? Because it gets real big here, real official this month for y'all. You have to remember Ace of Cups, why you're doing the thing, why you're in that relationship, why you're in that situation. It's because you love it unconditionally it's it's what you do six, and then six of pentacles is like the sa saving grace here six of pentacles is you're like okay i am good i am seeing cake here there's someone passing out cake some of y'all are going like an engagement party getting engaged like something like that this is really good let's go deeper this is a major transformational time for you, Sagittarius. Ace of Wands, it's a new beginning. Look at you coming out of this darkness. It's like boom, boom. Coming out of the clouds, there's two little birds down there too. So you're not alone. You're with somebody, you know? You're you're in partnership or you have someone there by your side. And if you don't have anyone, like you're feeling lonely or single, you've got spirit. You know what I mean? Never alone. Okay, let's go deeper and look at your clarification here. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. You have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck, three of swords, 10 of wands. If mommy ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. That's this energy. We've talked about that before. Why are you doing that? Eight of pentacles, you're, you are burnt out. You're working too much. You're doing way too much at home. You have way too many things on your shoulder right now. You're starting to experience a sense of burnout in life if you haven't felt that already for this group. Okay, let's go back. What's with, what's with this two of cups for Sagittarius, please? Remember, I never have my phone in my pocket. Spirit with this confirmation or this clarification message goes, it's almost like for a lot of you, it's like, and when I saw my phone, it was just something silly. I was like, I don't need to see that right now. But anyways, it's nothing serious, but I never have my phone on me in a reading. It's always over there, uh, like my personal phone. And something would just remind me like, hey, it's there, just put it over to the side. And what I'm, so that happened in y'all's reading for a reason. Like a lot of you are like, don't even want any distractions. You're like, oh, I don't even want to see what was happening with work. I want to be with my person. I'm seeing some of you might have a new baby. Um, so I'm seeing like the little baby right here. And you're like, I don't care about anything else right now. I just want to come home and I want to hold my baby. Like there is something about, I don't give a crap about work, the boss, the responsibilities, the laundry, the bleh, all this stuff. You're like, I only, two of cups, I only see you. All I see is you. Shane Smith and the Saints. That could be a homework song for y'all. Anyways, you it's like, you're like all, you're, you have like a little bit of tunnel vision in regards to a person, a connection right now. And I, I think that's totally okay. You do, you have a little bit of the rose colored glasses on, but it's okay. Two of Cups, what is that for you, Sagittarius? Four of Pentacles, someone you live with, someone that's right around the block, close to home. Six of Wands, this is a victory. This is something that makes you feel good. This is a connection, a person that uplifts you. Someone who wants to see you win, succeed. Definite soulmate energy, moon card. You're very emotional about this person. Um, they're emotional about you. This is significant in Pisces season. Why did the moon card come out? Knight of Wands. Look at you having fun at night. Like we we started the reading with the Knight of Wands. Um, you could have gotten someone's number recently, connected with someone, um, and the King of Cups is behind that. 
yeah, this is a lot of like, deep emotional connecting with someone, with that friend, with that person. And for a group of you that are like, some of y'all are yelling at me that you're single and I'm gonna need for you to stop doing that. This is about you really loving yourself too, right? Two of cups, moon card, six of, six of pentacles. If no one's being a cheerleader in your life, you gotta be a cheerleader for your own life. You know what I mean? But for a lot of you know, you've got it real good with someone. You've got a really good ride or die bestie. You're in a really great relationship that's developing. Um, and there's a big victory there. High Priestess, this is something that you know that other people don't. Nine of Wands, that you are getting a little bit fed up also at the same time in this situation. There is your, your, your breadcrumb, the start of your, I'm getting burnout. Some of you are tired of waiting for your person. Like say, for example, I'm picking up on like a collective group of y'all where you're like, I've been dating my person for a long time. When are we going to get married? You're like, we've been together for years or for a long time. Or I don't know. Five of swords, three of pentacles, two of pentacles. Some of you are not saying, um, talking about a fight that you've had with somebody, with a boss, with a partner. You're, it's like a, I'm, they're showing me a, a, a humming, or not a hummingbird, a dragonfly. And dragonflies just kind of skim over the surface. So some of you, um, there's something, someone said something nasty to you. You might have said something nasty to somebody else. And we're just like, oh, we're just going to skip over that. Yeah, Knight of Wands. This is about an action that you took, impulsive action, or an impulsive action that someone took towards you. Something that you saw that you didn't want to see. See? And what I saw, again, it wasn't really, like, bad. But I was just like, oh, that's silly. But, yeah, it's like you saw something that you didn't want to see. And you're just like, ugh. You're just brushing something off right now. You're wiping something clean. For some of you Sagittarius, you are releasing a person or situation and not going to build with them anymore because you've got something else going on. A lot of you are giving ghosting someone or giving someone the silent treatment because something else is going really well in your life. Get it. Seven of Cups, exploring your options. What kind of options have you been looking at in the past? Emotional. With, the, with the Seven of Cups, it's a lot of emotional stuff, but you got to remember not all that glitters is gold with the Seven of Cups. Not every new friend you make is going to be an amazing soulmate. Some you're going to get their number and y'all never talk again or never see each other again. You know what I mean? Eight of Pentacles star card, but one of them is going to shine brightly. I heard shine bright like a diamond. Eight of Pentacles star, Aquarius energy, and the Seven of Wands on your Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, King of Swords. <laughs> This feels like, I don't know why someone's like, say for example, you're like planning a wedding and someone's like, oh, I don't want to do any of that. You do it all. And the other person's like, okay. Yeah. There's an exchange of energy here. There's a major, what's the star card for you in the cup? High priestess, four of cups. Some of you have like some type of secret bun in the oven, secret relationship situation that you're not ready to express or talk about just yet. What are you defensive about? What is that you don't want to see? King of Pentacles, King of Wands. There's there's something for some of you, you don't want to see how well someone else is doing over you. You don't want to see how well your ex is doing better than you. You don't want to see that they have the bigger house than you, 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 than you do. You don't want to see that they've had, you know, gotten married and had a kid before you did. I don't know. There's a little undercurrent of comparison here where you're like, I don't want to see that. But yeah, you definitely have a wish fulfillment. You and someone are working things out. Eight of Pentacles towards building your dreams together. Hierophant, current energy. This is you in the higher level commitment, okay? In a marriage, in a relationship, you know, doing in that long-term nine to five, in like in the thing, you're in it. You're the teacher, like stability, what is that? I'm hearing the industry. High Priestess, that's the counterpart. Three of Swords. 
Ooh, Nine of Pentacles. Um, uh -oh, Page of Wands, Nine of Cups. I heard whoopsie daisy. Why the Hierophant and the High Priestess Tower? This is a, a, a splitting. This is an unexpected shift. Why the Three of Swords, Ace of Cups? Four of Cups, Tower. Why the Page of Wands? That's the whoopsie. Tower again, King of Wands. So we started the reading with the Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands. Remember you like... Hey, feeling good. Who were you? Let me get your number. I like this. Da, da, da. It's very, you're only around for the good time or someone in your life is only around for the good time. Things get serious. Bye-bye. Dip out. That's Knight of Wands. I, right now in the current energy, I feel like you and someone were making plans to make something more serious and someone messed up. Page of Wands, Three of Swords, High Priestess on the Hierophant. Someone cheated in a marriage, someone cheated in a relationship, someone, and it, it hurts very bad with the three of swords. This is not, oh, I saw my person getting someone's number. This is not, mm, I'm just going to look the other way. This is like, oh crap. Something's in my eye now. This is again, something, there was a distraction around you as well. Someone was trying to distract you. Hey, look over there. And then there was something behind your back. What's that? Ace of wands, a new physical connection. Well, this is not in the direction I thought where we were going here. Nine, and the Nine of Pentacles was showing up and it's there again. This is our single ready to mingle. Some of you, unfortunately, there's a snake in the grass. There's someone at work bullying you talking crap there's someone in you and someone in a relationship one of the two of you is not being faithful or honest in a way y'all get it with the tower this is again this is unex just as unexpected for me as it is for you that's not where this reading felt like it was going and then boom all of a sudden major shift <sighs> what's this empress about let's move on divine feminine taurus libra Creativity. Queen of Cups and the Emperor. Well, there's a counterpart there as well. Oh my God. Ten of Wands. This is two different connections or two different types of situations. Some of you have a spiritual connection with someone, like a twin flame, high level situation. And then this is like the soulmate, Queen of Cups. Emperor Empress with the Ten of Wands, Justice, Tower again. Why is the Ten of Wands on all of this right now? Like you're like giving up, full card. It's a fresh start, Tower again. Why the Emperor and the Empress for Sag in the heart of the reading? Why the Emperor and the Empress for Sag in the heart of their reading? Okay. Got it. Lovers. Y'all are literally for this group. And if this is not your message, it's not your message. If it's not your reading, it doesn't need to be your reading. Okay. When y'all come and yell at me that like, Jacqueline, this was right, but this part was not right. And da, 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 da. I don't care. Get out of my channel. If you're going to leave a negative comment. Oh, anyways, you guys, a lot of you are literally night and day going from like a twin flame karmic relationship to a soulmate relationship. It's like you're actually, it feels like a step down because like like a Taurus, some of you are dealing with the Taurus. Hierophant is high level commitment. Like we're married, whatever. Some of y'all, like we're almost about to get married to someone, get engaged, get serious, walk down the aisle, get the ring, get something really officially going. Boom, out of nowhere, that is now done. And there is a soulmate connection right there. Emperor, Empress, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for a lot of you, full card, sun card. You'll know what this is because this person, this situation, this counterpart, this whatever is going to put the biggest smile on your face. And you're gonna be like, yeah, I am definitely out of that crap and I am in on this.
a lot of y'all are like, it's like a 180 unexpected. Someone self-sabotage um, a marriage, a long-term job situation. But then there's this other counterpart, this other relationship, something that's going even deeper. Yeah, because you saw a lot of you. Oh, there it is. Sun and the moon. Twin flame divine counterpart. So on the two of cups in the past, I'll have the moon card. So for some of you, it's like someone around the block, someone in the neighborhood, someone around you, around the office. Six of wands. They make you feel good. It's like an ego boost. And for a lot of you, you're you're going for that and dropping a long-term commitment that you've been in. Let's move on. Four of Pentacles. And again, it doesn't have to be exactly like that. Um, if it resonates and feels like that's you and your situation, and you're and you know, then great. And if not, don't force it. And please don't yell at me if it's not the right thing. This is a free reading for you, and I'm trying to help you. Okay. And it shows a lot about you if you're yelling at a stranger online about something that she's not saying that doesn't fit your little lifestyle. Really should think that one through. Okay. Four of Pentacles. This is you, uh, checks and balances, checking your money. Are we okay? Am I okay? Um, a lot of you, this is going to a safe place. Six of Swords. Yeah, you're going, you're moving, maybe moving in with someone. Five of Cups, moving to a different location, relocating, moving to someone else's home. Uh, Knight of Swords, Hierophant, King of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are like divorcing something, getting out of something long term, and moving into a soulmate relationship, moving in with family. Um, some of you, it's like, I've been at college and I'm moving back home kind of vibe. Or it, again, it's it feels like a step down, but it's not. It's where you're supposed to be right now, right? On your Eight of Swords coming in, this is where you're going to really overthink, like, what did I do? Or, you know, there's just so much going on. Page of Swords, Ten of Cups, King of Swords, Five of Wands. You're a little bit worried and paranoid about like an ex seeing how well you're doing. But you're also okay with that at the same time. You know what I mean? It's just that kind of vibe. You're like, I don't want to hurt this person's feelings that I just am left and broke up with. You know, but I'm going to post that I'm doing this and this and that. I hope my old job doesn't take it hard that I'm thriving really, really well in this new job. You know what I mean? It's like a twofold of energy. You're like, I, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but I also want everyone to know how great I'm doing at the same time. <laughs> All right. Let's look at your Ace of Cups. New love, new beginning, new cup coming in for Sagittarius. Ten of Swords, um, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Cups again. This is an agreement. This is a this is an agreement. This is a contract that was coming in now. Feels very unexpected. This feels like what you're going for. You're putting in a lot of effort to leave something that you've put a lot of eggs in someone's basket. You've put a lot of eggs in a certain situation's basket and you are washing it. You're leaving it again for something else. And if not for someone else, for Ace of Cups, for your own self-expression. You might be leaving a, I don't know, some of you might be leaving a, a relationship to go travel, to go, hey, I'm going to start my career. You know what I mean? But whatever it is, you're doing it because you love to do it. All right, now here's cake. Now we eat cake. Six of Pentacles. For Sagittarius, this is balance. Ooh. Nine of Cups. King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you made it. You made it. You had to kind of um, cut some corners here with the Queen of Swords. You had to keep 
um, certain people out of the loop and certain people in the loop on certain things. Very, I'm hearing top, top secret type of energy here. Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Strength card, Sugar Daddy energy. Leo, Nine of Cups, this is exactly what you wanted. You somehow have manifested some kind of wish fulfillment for yourself and it is coming in a way beyond unexpected than you could ever even imagine. I'm even and still insanely thrown off just a touch. Like this is crazy. This is like out of a movie. This is like out of a rom-com. Like I'm not kidding. It's like you, your life literally was like about to be fulfilled and go in one direction. And then like right before it was all about to come together, tower craziness is going on. But then boom, where you're supposed to be is actually just like right next door. I love y'all. That's your reading. <laughs> Sagittarius. Um, we're going to do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Sagittarius that won the pick a card this time is Crystal Lacasey. Lacase? Lacasey? I don't know. Crystal, you're my winner. Um, Sagittarius, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, it might be you. I love y'all so much, and I will catch you next time. All right, Crystal, this is for you, my love. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Crystal? Sagittarius energy. Thank you. There's going to be some online communication. Someone wants to invest in you. Someone's been watching you. I want to help you out. I'm almost seeing like a GoFundMe. If you're helping someone with a GoFundMe or you have like a GoFundMe or something like that, there's like online help, online funding. You might be putting together, I'm seeing like a flyer or something where people can like, hey, come to this event. I'm getting a lot of like marketing online stuff with you. Um, sun card, five of wands. Ooh, people are jealous of your light. People are like, how are you doing it? People don't know how you're, you're making something just so easy. How does she do it? Is five of wands sun card. Because you have the light and all the sun and everyone's competing for whatever it is that you have immediately. Got that. Crystal. King of cups. Maybe you're in a new relationship or you have a great relationship. Maybe water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, two of wands. Temperance, you. Yeah, you're in some kind of control here. You're like good. This is nice. I feel like um, there's a little bit of chaos around you, but it's because people don't understand like, why does Crystal have it so easy? She has a great relationship. I see like you might have a really great home. You're really balanced. You're really happy. Like you just seem with the sun card popping right out. Crystal, you just seem like the kind of person that's just naturally like positive. And even if you like are having a terrible day, you're the type of person that's like not going to be shitty at the grocery store to the cashier. You know what I mean? Um, you're just like, even if you're like going through something really bad, you're like, hey, how are you? Like you, you're really, your light shines very, very brightly. And I really hope that you see this reading. And I hope that you know that about yourself. And, and literally just because of that, people can't stand you for it. And that is unfortunate for them. I hope that you never, ever, 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 ever dim your light for other people who are like dying to be you. You are a little bit nine of wands. You are a little bit burnt out um, in a certain area of your life. So, or you could be like almost done with a difficult chapter. And I'm hearing with that temperance, your card slowly crossing the finish line on whatever that is. What's the sun card about for Crystal? What is your light about? Wow. Oh my God. You literally have it all. Yeah. 
you're like, I don't know, like the hot mom. I don't know. You don't have to be a mom, but the Empress came out like your divine feminine, 10 of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. You work your tail off like in your family and your routine for your kids, for your home. Um, chariot, like you're very balanced. You're doing very well. Again, you just have a natural good like worth work ethic flow you're very happy like you got the everything card and the empress and the sun card i feel like happy abundant family love kids like you have it all you know eight of pentacles and you're like yeah and i work my ass off for it and i see that with the eight of pentacles but that's what people don't know people are like oh she just has it easy and you're like no i've worked for everything i've had in my life like people probably assume that you're just like Oh, her parents pay for everything or you're like a rich kid or something and you're like, no, I'm self-made. Thank you very much. You know, that's like the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, lover's card. When new people meet you, they don't understand why you have it so easy. That's what I'm getting. Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands. People put you on a pedestal big time. Devil, oh my God, devil lovers, magician. You have a lot of karmic situations around you that you know to keep a distance from. You have a lot of petty, low vibrational people around you. You are fully aware of it and you're just like, get away from me. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. You kind of like run laps in school people actually a lot, like in, but kind of in a funny way. <laughs> Why the devil and the lovers together? Knight of Cups. Yeah, you have a great counterpart a great person in your life, either romantically, a friend, some kind of something going on there. And it's really good. And people are like, why does she have that? It's like almost annoying. Like these people are annoying for you. Yeah. On your Knight of Cups, uh, I'm sorry, King of Cups, you have the Knight of Swords. King of Cups for Crystal, please. This healthy um, relationship. You got the Four of Wands. Union, marriage, relationship, dedication. Feels good, healthy. I'm hearing the word healthy, three of pentacles. Like you have a relationship with someone either romantically or in work or someone like a partner close to you where like as soon as one little thing comes up, like y'all hash it out immediately. Like you're really, you must have come from a very, very healthy childhood. Like if you had, you know, whoever raised you, your parents or whatever, like I'm picking up, like that's just the way you are. Like you, you've been like, you've had either a healthy example in your life of like what good healthy relationships um and family life looks like and you know that it's not always easy but you you manage it and you maintain it is what spirit is saying and you should be so proud of yourself um and or if that's not the case like eight of pentacles like you've put yourself in therapy or you've learned to like really go deep in self-love like crystal who are you you're like an amazing person. Two of Wands coming in. There's a decision for you to take a step up in a situation. Seven of Swords. Moon card. Oh. King of Pentacles. King of Swords. Ten of Swords. What are you Seven of Swordsing about? Yeah, okay. You have two people or two situations. Knight of Cups. That could also be what it is. I mean, I'm not saying it's okay, but maybe you feel like you've got, I've got two kings. I got my work boyfriend and I got my dude I come home to. You know what I mean? I don't know. A, you don't tell people about that. B, there's a decision that you feel like you need to make about that. And C, that's why people don't understand why, why like you're so happy and good all the time. You might have two masculine type people in your life. What's with that? Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It's like you have the best, best of both worlds in a situation. That's all I can say. That's all we'll say for now. Looking at you, Ace of Cups, 
Queen of Swords, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. Wow. I feel like you are really feeling a connection with someone and you want to express yourself to them or they're about to express themselves to you. Yeah, what's with this? Um, you're tired of being alone or working by yourself. Not like alone, but you're there's a, an energy where you're like, I wish I had a partner for something and now you're going to have it. It almost doesn't feel like two romantic people. I feel like maybe like you have a great, you know, family life and you're like, man, now I have a, like a good business partner. Like you have the best of both worlds now in one way or another. Get it, girl. All right. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.